Hey everybody, it's First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. It's Wednesday, and today's topic is going to be brought to you by the First Warren Storm Team's meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. Chris is talking about some cloud formation and how it rains. I think this is very appropriate considering all the rain we had last night across the area. We saw some really heavy rain. Excuse me. Uh, the pollen's killing me still, but I'm hoping that this rain will help wash some of it out today. But we've seen a lot of rain in the last couple of days, and a lot of kids ask, you know, why does it rain? How does it form? You know, we talked about clouds on Monday and how they form. Well, Chris is going to touch on how that cloud eventually gets saturated enough where eventually it's going to create some rain. So with no further ado, we're going to go off to Chris Mulcahy. Today's topic. Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Chris Mulkey and welcome to WCNC Weather School. So today we're going to go over a couple of demonstrations. Number one, we're going to make a cloud in a bottle. Number two, we're going to make it rain with some cotton ball clouds. So we're going to have a lot of fun today while learning some of the processes and the processes of the atmosphere. All right, so the first thing we're doing is making a cloud in a bottle. So here's what you need. Most likely you already have this at home. Number one, some hot water. Make sure you have a parent with you kids. Number two, a mason jar. I think the bigger, the better. Number three, some ice cubes. And number four, some hairspray. That's the most interesting ingredient here. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna be able to combine these and we're gonna be explaining what happens in the atmosphere that is going to cause a cloud to form. This is also the same process for the formation of fog and also in your shower. And we'll get to that in one sec. So check this out. Picture the hot water as we're pouring this in. Just pour a little bit on the bottom. That is going to be the process of that warm rising moist air. So what we're going to do is just do one spray, one quick one, of some aerosol. Put some ice cubes on top. And what this is doing is signifying what happens in the atmosphere. So you have that warm moist air that rises up. We especially see that here in the Carolinas during the summertime. That hits that colder dry air in the upper atmosphere. And the reason why we use this, the aerosols, is because for a cloud to form, it needs to have tiny little either dust particles or natural aerosols to attach to. So pretty much something to cling onto. But as you can see, as time goes on, we now have a cloud in a bottle. And watch, as I lift this up, you can see that cloud rise because warm air rises and that's exactly what we're seeing here. So that's your cloud in a bottle. But when you see it up above in the atmosphere, that cloud is gonna get darker and darker. And that means that it's about to rain or it is raining. And we'll get to that in a sec. So the same thing happens in your house. Whenever you're taking a shower, the warm moist air hits that colder, drier air. It condenses on the mirrors and pretty much makes a cloud in your own bathroom. You guys want a bath? You guys want a bath? Yeah? All right, on to demonstration number two. Now, likely, again, you have all these materials at home. Number one, some cotton balls. You don't need this much, but just in case you want to do it a bunch of times. Number two, a clear plastic cup. I want it to be clear so you can see what's going on in here, but you also need to poke some holes at the bottom. You'll see the reason why. You can simply just use some thumbtacks to do that. We're using a mason jar again, but you want to get one that you can fit that clear plastic cup on top. And then lastly, some water, and then I'm gonna color it because that just makes it a lot more fun. And plus, you can visually see what's going on a lot more. So, one, two, three. This is gonna be a nice, pretty blue color. Here we go. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? Okay, so we're going to make it rain. I call this experiment the cotton ball rain cloud. So step number one, we need to make our cloud, which is simply going to be some of these cotton balls. A one, a two, a three. Now ah, that's good enough. So here's what we're going to do. Just like what we were talking about previously with the cloud, the darker it gets, the more moisture or water is in that cloud. But eventually it gets way too heavy and that rain is going to drop. And you're gonna see that exactly here. So watch, as we're pouring the water in, notice that the cotton balls are absorbing all the water, but eventually they can't hold that moisture anymore. And then it starts to rain. Pretty cool experiment that you can do at home. So the more moisture or water that's in the clouds, the heavier that that rain is going to be. And there's actually two different types of rain clouds. So the two types of rain clouds, number one, 
Cumulonimbus. This is also known as a thunderstorm. These are super tall. It can be taller than Mount Everest. Really dark, and they also produce some very heavy rain, and of course, thunder and lightning. Whenever you see one of these, or even hear one of these, you want to get indoors. Number two, Nimbostratus. This just is a general rain cloud that produces light to moderate rain. And a moderate rain is just less than heavy rain. There's no thunder and lightning that usually goes along with these. But both these words have something in common. The word nim, which simply means rain. So Nimbostratus and Cumulonimbus are our rain clouds. So the next time it rains and you need the umbrella, now you'll know why here at WCNC Weather School. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. All right, that was pretty awesome, Chris. I gotta admit, that was cool. Um, and a lot of that stuff you have at home, if you don't have it at home, you can make do. You don't always need the food coloring. There's always some substitutes in there. But the good news, as Chris talked about, we don't have a lot of Nimbo Stratus clouds today. They're starting to move out. But if you've ever wondered, looking at first worn Doppler radar, uh, what those clouds look like on radar, what Chris was showing, the more saturated that cloud is, the brighter the colors on the radar. So when there's a lot of moisture in the cloud, the radar beam will bounce off of those raindrops that are packed together and will give us a brighter return. In fact, Doppler radar is going to be one of those things I'm going to be talking about during weather school over the next couple of weeks. So if you missed any of our episodes, I got to pass this along to you. We do have a YouTube channel, uh, WCNC's YouTube channel, where you can go grab um, any of these. You can go look at these um, at WCNC.com or you can go to our YouTube channel. We actually have a playlist, I'm looking at it right now. Um, our YouTube channel will archive all these. We actually have a playlist called WCNC's Weather School, so you can go back and watch the previous ones. And every single one of these we do live will record and post there afterwards. Now tomorrow, kids, get excited because Larry Sprinkle is gonna do tomorrow's Weather School and he's gonna show you some of the cool things we do at the studio with our green screen or what we call the chroma key. So get excited. Tomorrow's weather school at one o'clock here at WCNC. You can see it on YouTube. We're doing Twitch, Facebook, Periscope. I'm actually watching. We have 57 viewers on Twitch today, which is great. And the parents, if you don't know what Twitch is, ask your kids. I know they will tell you exactly what it is. My kids know for sure. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.